I have a question for you. What is the most dangerous thing in the universe that even light can't escape from? The answer? Black holes. Black holes are not just fascinating, but they are the most mysterious and dangerous objects in the entire world. Now, I have been fascinated with black holes my entire life. I've watched multiple videos and documentaries about them. Black holes are the most dangerous and fascinating thing in the entire universe. Again, it is also the most unknown and mysterious object we know. It's not like we can get close to one, and it's not like we can see one. So what information do we know about black holes? In this speech, I'll be going over what black holes are, how they're formed, the first picture ever taken of a black hole, which was in 2019, and why black holes matter to us, and what we can expect in the future for black holes themselves and for our research. So black holes, what are they? How are they formed? Well, according to NASA scientist Heather Smith, a black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much, even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. Mo uh, sorry. Great matter into a small space. So, imagine a star 10 times more massive than the sun, squeezed into the space of New York. That's really dense. Most of the remnants of, most of, the remnants of a black hole is a large star dying in a supernova, as in collapsing in. As this happens, according to NASA scientists, the surface of the star nears an imagery surface called the event horizon. Time of the star is relative to the time kept by observers far away. When the surface reaches the event horizon, time stands still and the star can collapse no more. It is a frozen collapsing object. Now, you only think there's one type of black hole, but there's actually three. The most well understood is a stellar mass. That's a black hole. That's a star collapsing, supernovaing. A supermassive black hole is a runway change of collision stars. Now this is just a th theory, but another one is actually two black holes colliding to make a bigger black hole. The third black hole is a primordial black hole. This is just hypothesis, but it is believed that these black holes started within a mere second of the Big Bang. They're that old. Now, the first real picture of a black hole came out in 2019. So, were black holes just a theory? Well, just because we can't directly observe a black hole doesn't mean we don't know it's not there. We can infer for the presence by studying their effects on matter nearby, such as stars, the rotation, the emitted x-ray as a star is pulled in, also the emitted gamma rays that is put through. Black holes also influence neighborhood systems. They're that large. Black holes suck in light, so we can't see it with human eyes. Until recently, the Event Horizon Telescope was the first telescope to photograph a black hole. Well, the silhouette of a black hole. This black hole is from the center of Nessler 87. So, how do black holes affect us? They're thought to be rare. But there are millions in just the Milky Way galaxy alone. In the center of almost every galaxy, there is a supermassive black hole. According to an astronomy teacher named Jennifer, she says it appears that they help hold galaxies together and ensure they function correctly. For example, if Sagittarius A was not at the center of our galaxy, then all matter in the Milky Way would not orbit around the center in a spiral shape. <clears throat> Instead, there may be chaos cliff bodies colliding into each other, causing destruction. That's what would happen if we didn't have a black hole. Black holes also provide lots of information about how the universe was created and how it's going to be in the future. It provides ideas of different gases and elements in the universe. and it also helps explain how the universe works on a small and a large scale. Now, what can we expect in the future? For black holes, as time goes on, black holes will continue to grow. As stars grow old and supernova, new black holes will form. But as old black holes move closer and closer together, they will form into supermassive black holes. <clears throat> Another thing that will change in the future is the research. The Vrent Horizon Telescope has literally broadened our horizon. Well, that company has received $12.7 million to continue photographing and hopefully soon film black holes. The new generation of um, 
The new generation of the event horizon is called the NGEHT, which will hopefully accomplish this. Even though our research methods are growing and becoming more capable of understanding these giant monsters, there's still so much information we need to collect and understand. Compared to what we know, we've only just scratched the surface. So, what have we went over today? How black holes have formed, what they are, how does it affect us, what will happen in the future. Black holes are the oldest thing in the universe. Well, besides the universe. There's so much we need to know about them, like where they are, what are they doing. Personally, I would like to know something like this is going to happen to us. Thank you so much. I'm Jenna. Have a great day.